What's up everybody, it's your boy Wes Grant and you're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This is the channel where I get my reviews on today's nerd news. Also give reviews on TV shows and today's TV show, thank God it's been so long. It's The Gifted, Season 2, Episode 14 called Calamity. Now, uh, if you guys, I know it's been a long time, but pretty much in the last episode before this one, Episode 13, uh, the underground got a big blow to, to there because all their head people got taken out by the inner circles and that group of with Rex and them whatever uh, and blown up in a building uh, you've got Blink leaving John because she does she says like him going after the inner circles is suicide so she dips off after and then you know she just leaves because she can't she, she feels he always keeps jumping into the fight that can't be won you know and um and she goes to the uh, the Morlocks, and that's pretty much the majority of it, you know. Uh, oh, and also at the end, you've got, you know, Captain Lightbright, you know, Marcus, Marcos, and he actually shows that he can actually kill people with his hands, and he burns the guy, and because the guy, he's trying to take the guy home, or not home, but to the, you know, so they can question him about what's gonna happen, but he gets shot because the guy, you know, Snakey shoots him from the side, and then she, you see blazer beams in the in the car. The catches on fire. It blows up, and that's the kind of cliffhanger we left at because he gets away after getting shot. But um, things are gonna be cray. Underground has no more leadership. Nobody's willing to uh, follow John Star, Pr uh, John Star, <coughs> Proud Star, and that's pretty much where it's left. So this episode, we kind of find out what the deal was going on between um, you know Riva and Ryan. You know the the new the the, the head of you know the purifiers and we find out that he was just a regular radio guy the regular job he had tried to he was like what's it 30 seconds 19th or 30 something place as far as the um candidates for him to try and be like a senator or something like that so he didn't really do much he ended up getting a radio station and reva sets up a, a appointment with him and she's like yo i can help you you know you you, you have ambition you're a good salesman I got something for you, so because and then he, she was, he was like, "How are you gonna help me?" She was like, "I have certain abilities." She's like, I ain't gonna work with no mutant. She's like, "Yo, shut your mouth." You know why? Cause you are a salesman, and I got something for you to sell, and you're gonna want a part of this because your whole, you've been running all this whole coat, uh, tail coat of the whole mutants are bad or whatever, and it's not working out for you. So I can do something for you. So you see, that's that's kind of what's like four or something, whatever years ago. So and then they jump to sort of the present and you see Reva meeting up with Ryan once again in front of the, of the monument um, Lincoln was it Lincoln Memorial or something like that in front of a monument and she gives him an envelope and he was like what do you what is this she was like I need this done and she he looks at it and he's like yo I don't I don't know how this this is like a suicide mission and she was like yo you know uh, send someone figure something out uh, you know the guy Jace, the one that, you know, he's very ambitious, how about he's some? He was like, what, how am I gonna get him? This is like a suicide mission. She was like, I don't know, promise him something. And that's what he pretty much does. Jumps to the present time, and you've got, um, sorry, oh, sorry, just scratch my head. You've got, um, uh, you've, what's no, Marcos is on the couch because he's shot, you know, he's dealing with the stuff, you know, he's injured. Uh, uh, and Proud Stars going in. He was like, after seeing, you know, I, I didn't know how it would feel because, you know, with when when uh, Lorna left you, you know, I, like I don't know how do I feel, but now I know how it feels seeing how you know Blink left me. And he was like, yo, she she still cares about you, bro. You know, like just like Lorna still cares about me, she still cares about you. She just didn't want to see you get yourself hurt. You know, that's why she left. And I'm like, all right, so you've got that. Um. Then you've got you know something going on with the whole because Blink is trying to get the uh, the Mor Morlocks to help other people, other mutants because they're they're getting t you know attacked all up on the surface. And she's trying to talk to them. They're like, sorry, we can't do nothing, but you know, she's we're willing to listen if you can bring up something. She was like, okay. So and then uh, what's it called? You've got Jace. Jace has a, oh Ryan goes and talks to Jace and basically gives them this mission. And this mission is, is pretty much. They're gonna attack the Morlocks under on their own turf underground. And he was like, "Well, how? We don't know what powers they got. How? How are we gonna survive this?" And he was like, "You know, I'm sure you'll figure it out." And he was like, "Um, I don't know." And that's where you, that promise comes in. He was like, "You, if you do this, I promise that you will be able to go home. You know, like get revenge for your daughter. 
you know, the, your wife will, will be waiting for you and you'll be head of the Sentinel Service. That's right, the Sentinel Service that kicked you out. You will be in charge of this dish. And I've, after, like, once he said that, I was like, oh, you know he's going to take this now. There's no way he's gonna stop. No, no. Like, how, how much, like, you know what? If, if a job fired me and then you offer me a chance to, like, if, I, you know, I did like the job and they, you know, and like I'm in charge of them now. Oh, you best believe I'm gonna take that so I can rub that shit in their faces. You know, it's not all about just like the revenge for your child, but you're getting revenge on your pride. These people dismissed you like you was nothing, and now you are you their boss? Their boss? Hell yeah, I'm taking that. So he gets in there, uh, he goes and has this major speech, major speech on. Like to the people who's like, I'm not gonna say this is this is gonna be easy. But what I kinda say is I'm doing this for my daughter that died on what's it something 7 11 9 11 no so, so no 7 15 I believe it's 7 15. My daughter that died on 7 15 and all the people and for the for the future of the people and then that's when he got there all you know he, he's a good speaker so he got everybody all riled up people like I'm doing it for my grandchild that hasn't been born yet and the person's like I'm doing it for my parent I'm doing this for my daughter I'm doing this but like I, like everybody starts standing up so he gets about like I guess eight people because he said he didn't need every like everybody just at least a good squad like about eight or nine people so and then like about eight stand up they say they're gonna take he's like okay everyone's round clapping you got ten in the background clapping you know whatever getting the thing done then you see them start you know they start handing out the guns and Ted you know he's he's getting them things jacked up or whatever like you know um Jace is handing it to Ted Ted's you know getting them locked in then handing it to the people and Ted's like yo you need to come on can you take me and then he's like yo after the what happened at that you know the orphanage kind of thing I don't know where you're going he was like that's why I need to go I like it's because you I'm not locked up I need to I I have to be there to, to save your back, to protect your back, so because I owe you, I feel like I owe you. I need to do this for you. You know, like I'm a good soldier. I I've been trained. These people don't know what they're doing. I'm actually a trained soldier. And t you know, Jace after a while, he's like, you know what? All right. And he hands him a gun. You know, like he he's giving that look, like don't let me regret this. All right, don't let me regret this. He was like, all right, I got you. So meanwhile, while all that's going on, over inside the 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 inner circle. Apparently they have the meeting because why because Max has not showed up He is missing and they're talking about yo. What's going on? What's going on? We're, we need to figure this out We need to see what's going on with this thing and figure it out fast because like him showing up We're gonna we're gonna do some research what we're gonna find So, you know, they start locking down stuff and then the phones the phone all of a sudden it's not like uh, because Lauren is trying to contact Marcos to find out what happened, you know because she, she was trying to do it before, but, you know, she wasn't able to. But after finding out that, you know, Max is missing, he was like, something must have went wrong. So she's trying to contact him. But except, of course, there's no service because everything's blocked. The elevators are blocked. Um, you know, Andy's like, yo, I, elevators? So then Marco, I'm so Andy and Lorna are like, talking to Sage. And Sage's like, I'm sorry, it's out of my hands. Like, it's just locked down until we figure out what's going on. So, you know, Lorna is definitely worried because, you know, she's the reason why he ain't show up. And then, like... Uh, so after that meeting and all that was good, you've got, um, you've got, you've got the, um, uh, instructors and, uh, daughter, Lauren, Lauren, because Lauren, after she took the serum, because, you know, also in the last episode, she was getting drawn to, to the inner circle by the, you know, by the Frost sisters and Andy. So and then the father finally got her, he got her home and gave her, uh, like an injection, the stuff that he was taking to suppress his powers. And because of that, she starts having like fevers or whatever, and she's like sleeping, having these dreams. She's basically remembering all the crazy shit she's done, as far as like threatening the guy, throwing a blade, to, you know, like uh, throwing, um, cutting off the the police car's top, or whatever, just doing all these crazy different things. And she starts speaking in some German first, or wh wh whatever the um, the, the grandparents were. She starts speaking in this language, and they're like, looking, what, what, what is, what's going on? And then she, she's like, she wakes up, and they're like, yo, are you okay? And they're like, yeah. And they're, they're, they're saying that, you know, like, the, the, the mom's definitely not cool with this. She's not cool with this because she was like, like, then the father finally, you know, confesses that the, the, there was a message inside the box, a music uh, box, 
and it's, it's got Lorna, uh, Lauren drawn to Andy, to the inner circle, and he had that feel too and all that. She was like, yo, as a family, we need to talk about this, okay? We need we need to, you know, just everything out open, no secrets, we need to talk about this. And they go and they talk to, uh, what's, what's called, Lauren about it, and she's like, oh, I didn't know I was speaking to whoever, but she's like, I'm okay, she's just a little weak. Meanwhile, back over at the, uh, the under, the, the Morlocks the, in the underground, that's when Jace is showing up with the other guys, and they're they're coming in with their weapons. They're searching the the Morlocks. They they have a meeting, and uh, what's the, the guy's his name is Membrane. So he wipes the dirt off of stuff so he can see the reflection, do the reflection or something. And they see that there's like a a, a, a squad that's in there trying to um, find out what's uh, like where where they are. So they send a message to. Actually, sorry. Sorry, sorry, my computer went out. So uh, that's when Blink goes and calls Marcos. And then, you know, you've got Don right there. And he's like, yo, how's, why is she calling you? So she's like, I'm sorry, I didn't know, whatever. But, yo, they're down here. Jace, he's coming here. He's coming for us. We're going to need your help. We're going to need you guys to come and, like, just help us evacuate just in case of anything. They're like, all right. So they're going to head down there. Uh, they they tell the instructors and instructors they're like yo uh, we uh, I don't know what we're gonna do and that's when what's the name uh, Lawrence shows up uh, comes out of the room and it's like I'm go I'm going I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do whatever I can and they're like uh, what about the medicine she's like I don't want the medicine no more I need to stand up because you know I can't run from this there's not gonna be enough I can't use this as a crutch I gotta stand I gotta be strong I gotta you know just just, just take this on head 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 first. And then, you know, she gives that speech, and the mom and dad are kind of proud, they're kind of happy about it. So they're like, all right, so and then they're heading over there. Meanwhile, they're, they're twi you know, they're doing what they did to Marcos and Blink before, where they get them twisted around with the, with the, with the walls or whatever. But Jace has got a goddamn map, and the dude's just too clever. He's too clever, they're like, they're getting turned around, he's like, yo, wait, something's not right here. We're getting turned around. So he's like, you're supposed to turn here soon. He's knocking on the wall. Nothing. He goes over. Whoop! Puts his hand right through. All of a sudden, it's like, damn, yo, too smart. But then again, like I said, he has a map. Nobody else had a map. So unless you're touching every wall while you're going down a thing, you wouldn't know. But except he had a map because uh, the inner circle definitely wants them out of the out of loop. Which I don't know why, because they do nothing but you know how it is. Inner circle. I don't know what Reva's game plan is because she's like handing these guys this thing to take all, out all the mutants. So it's like, like that's it's, it's confusing. I don't know what the inner circle, what Reva has planned as far as working with them. Like you want to, okay, you want to start a war, but you, you, what? I don't know what's the ends to the means to the end because with the the more humans hate mutants, you are mutants, and what you're gonna start a war that you're that you. You're gonna try and finish a war that you started for what reason now? Because everything's worse because of you guys. So, anyways, he goes through. They find a way. They're getting closer to the uh, Morlock, and um, that's when uh, you know on that's when Marcos and Proudstar show up. They go into the. Uh, they go. They they uh, you know Proudstar sees Blink. They talk. He's like, Yo, I'm I'm sorry, whatever. And she was like, like you know, he's like, Hopefully, when it's all done, we'll be able to figure something out. And I should have noticed it because whenever, whenever there's a moment when they're like, when this is all done, let's just promise that we'll do this. And guaranteed, almost guaranteed every time, one of the people die. This is, it's just, it's like sitcom 101 or like series 101. And I should have seen it. And like, I, like think about it. Like, I'm like, yo, that was their hint that like someone was going to die. This, you know, that was the hint, you know? So, and then Blink goes in there and... Everything's go. You, um, they're all waiting to see Mar uh, to what's called the Jason them to show up, and they're just trying to figure out. And then the dude, they they start using some other tactics because once it got turned around, and then he figured out a way. They start taking taking people out. I don't know what what mutant it was, but she was like a horror flick because all of a sudden something comes down, pulls up a guy, ah! and he gets pulled up, and then another guy turns around, like, and then the guy gets pulled up again, like, ah! and you're like, Jesus, like, yo, and, and the one thing I'm thinking is like, if you took out two, 
why not just keep picking out the rest of them? And that's where this this, this episode starts going bad for me because I'm like, they, they could have taken them all out one by one, uh, just in a hallway. Like, because they were killing them. The two guys were killed. So you took out one, took out the other killed. It's like, it's sand. So they were even if they shot at you, it's not going to hurt you. And you could have just kept picking them off, but they just stopped, right? So and then uh, they Jace got smart. And actually, it was Ted because there was like Jason was like, "Yo, you guys want to turn around? Or do you want to keep going?" And then everyone's like, "Yo, we should turn around." And then Ted's like, "No, I have an idea from when I was in the in the war, we, we did something." So and then he was like, "All right." And then that's when the Morlocks they go down to try and see what's going on, like uh, what happened. And this is why I'm like, "All right." Like like I said, they could have just kept picking them off, but instead because they left or whatever and they left the two bodies, they go to go check the body, which. Surprise, surprise, they're rigged. Then the smoke comes out, they get start, they start getting knocked out, and the people get uh, start shooting. They were supposed to flood the tunnels, but except the guy never got to it, and he got killed, and they could hear it over the intercom. So then everyone's like, oh man, they're coming up there. So then Blink's definitely, she's rushing. She's getting the people all out of the tunnels. Then the people are coming out, more and more people. They're trying to rush out more. And that's when um, uh, Luna, not Luna, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the the, the bunch truckers are in the car to talk because they're on their way still, and they're just like, you know what? The father just like breaks it down like, because of that speech, I'm not gonna use powers either. I mean the the, the serum either. I'm gonna I'm gonna embrace my powers. I, they were given to me for a reason. And I'm gonna figure out what's gonna go down. With. So they're going there. Back at the inner circle, they're checking out. They the the um like you know, Lorna gets kind of bold and goes up to Riva and is like, yo, what's going on? The phones are out. People can't go. People are kind of questioning. And she gets her like, like that's you, you, you questioning me? Like it seems like you ain't worried about this a mole. It's just like no, it's not that. Just then, then that's when the frost comes out. Like we have something. They go, and that's when they roll up on Sage and like Sage, we need you to die. Why? Because you turned traitor. And she was like, what? No, I didn't do this. No. And then she was like, yeah, well, it was your password, passcode that looked at the time when he left. And I'm sorry, but you know, I trusted you. I vouched for you and it's got to go. And then she starts and lights start blinking. It gets brighter and then brighter and then brighter and then brighter. And then finally it just all turns white and there is nothing left but someone dead. Uh, you got, and then there's a knock on Lorna's door and she's like oh because she thinks that they found out so she's got her hands up ready she's ready to go and then that's when it's Andy Andy comes in tells her the news like yo uh Sage is dead and she, that's when she remembers like what she was like how was like they used her code and she remembers you know getting into her into the computer using her passcode and she feels bad because she got someone innocent killed and like she's just she's just torn apart then they go going back to the thing like they they Jace and them get up to the wall they think they're gonna come through the um the tunnel, then all of a sudden they blow a hole in the wall. They go through, they start shooting up the place. Blink is getting all the people out. The, the mom and, and 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 uh and the family they're 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 trying to get out the people, and then the police show up, and then they uh the, the mom starts shooting through the window, you know, bust through them, starts running out. Then uh the, like the Jace is shooting up the place, and the mutants are like throwing canisters and throwing this all this stuff. They shooting all over, and then that's when. Uh, um, Erg steps in front and starts taking a shot and then one guy's like and he takes all these shots and he goes down and the guy's like we got him and then that's when Erg is like wow and then takes him out and the guy goes flying and he's dead and then they throw and then Jason's like don't shoot him shoot everybody else and then so and then uh, their shots are being fired and Erg's noticing nothing's hitting him he's like come on you cowards come on and then other people are getting taken out the dudes are trying to throw is getting shot the, um, the 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 sludge looking guy gets taken down like everybody gets taken out and he's calling them cowards and in my in my head I'm like why don't you just are, are you are you are you not supposed to shoot anything are you only supposed to hurt, hurt people with your eye why don't you grab a gun run up on these people and shoot them point blank if they can't hurt you get up on them I didn't understand what was the problem and it was blowing my mind because I'm like why why is it that, we, that he didn't do this so, like he could have taken them all out on his own just grab a gun run up on them while they're shooting him and then shoot them with the beam and shoot them with the gun point blank in the face or something like that but no they didn't do that so then what happens everyone gets killed Blink has to risk her life everyone's getting um, try to get out a little kid for some reason get, is still stuck there and um, she gets taken 
and up uh, by Earth. Meanwhile, uh, this little girl had the smuggest look on her goddamn face, and I'm like, she's looking way too happy to be in this gunfight. So and then, uh, uh, Earth wanted her to go out first, but then Blink was like, no, I have to, gotta, I gotta be the last one. And then I'm like, this is how it's gonna happen. All this time I've watched this show, Blink is opening it and jump through real quick, but for some reason she opens it, lets Earth go through, and then she looks at what's the name, and then, bow, gets shot, and I'm like. And I could have sworn that she can go through and it still stay open. Like, does she have to stay on one side and keep it open? She can't go through and then keep her hands open until, like, she's, like, when she was going back and forth, she was opening it and, and closing it pretty damn quick because you got Prowser running after her and bam, it closed right in front of her. So then you had this moment where she gets, she gets shot. It's looking real, like, just dramatic right in front of Proudstar. Proudstar sees her, blood gets on his hands. He's looking, he's like, damn. And then that's when, uh, you know, Jace, he notices like the, there was kids here, there was like a, a doll, whatever, and there, and he sort of feels bad, but he did what he was supposed to do. Meanwhile, you got uh, you know Proudstar, he's pissed off, and you know you see in the next episode he's gonna punch shit out of out of uh, you know out of Erg because he's pissed off, but Erg you know that does not he's gonna let him just hit him probably because you know get out your frustration, you can't hurt me. So that's the episode. I'm sorry, I wanted this thing to be so much shorter, but there was so much stuff that happened in this episode coming back after the three or something weeks so thank you hopefully you guys liked this review because i i, I just i don't i think they could have won they, they, they were just being stupid the writers they made it, it's like like why why do you do one thing to stop when you could have kept doing that like Earth could have taken out everybody if he if he wanted to with his power alone just run up on him the blink just taking too long this is it was it was weird i liked the episode but the end kind of started losing me because it was just stupid in in a, what they did with it so i'm sorry but it was an okay episode what you guys think, let me know, comment down below, run to put those notifications on, like the video if you liked it, subscribe, check out my last uh, review, check out my playlist of reviews, remember I'm Wes Grant, you've been watching Sub Urban Nerd, and you've just been notified, see you guys on the next review.